Hey guys, CC back with another video. If this is your first time watching my channel, hello, welcome. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. And everyone, new or not, make sure you go ahead and click the little bell next to the subscribe button to make sure that you are notified for all of my future videos. And make sure you go ahead and give this video a like, thumbs up. Now moving right along, if you have not already seen from the title and the thumbnail, this is going to be a luxury shoe unboxing. So I recently got my first pair of designer shoes and I am very, very excited about it. My five year wedding anniversary was just last month. If you guys didn't know, my husband and I took a trip to the Dominican Republic. I'll link the vlogs up here somewhere so you can go ahead and check that out. But we did vlog while we were there. We had such a great time and when we got back, my husband surprised me with a another gift and it was a pair of I still don't know exactly how to say it Louboutin is it Louboutin I think it's Louboutin I'm pretty sure it's Christian Louboutin I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about he surprised me with those shoes and I am so over the moon excited I've always wanted a pair of red bottoms what girl has not wanted a pair of red bottoms so um I just really never pulled the trigger on it. They are insanely expensive. It almost makes you get a little guilty feeling because you're like, ugh, we were just in the Dominican Republic, which obviously isn't the richest country in the world. So there are people starving. I guess there are people starving in America, but then we spend close to a thousand bucks on shoes or more for these. And so sometimes you get a little guilty feeling when you talk about stuff like this, but I'm going to do the usual disclaimer. I am not doing this video to brag or anything like that. If you guys have been watching me and you know me, I'm not doing this video to brag. Um, I'm simply showing you guys the shoes. So maybe if you were hesitant to pull the trigger like I was, then maybe my review will push you one way or the other. Now I have not worn these shoes yet. I have barely taken them out of the box. I wanted to wait to unbox them with you and I haven't been anywhere to really wear them. So I'm gonna unbox these with you guys and then I'm gonna also show you some of the accessories that I got to go along with them. So my husband purchased me the Bianca 120 patent leather calf nude shoes. And again, these are Christian Louboutins. So this is the box that they come in. And my husband ordered them from Barney's. I'll put the price of the shoe and a link to them and everything in the description box if you guys are interested. Obviously, I haven't unboxed them, but my kids must have been in here because my Brazilian bum bum cream is in the box. So thanks, girls. So when you open up the box, you get not Brazilian bum bum cream, but you get this little dust bag that just says Christian Louboutin. And so when you travel, you can put your shoes in there and they will have a nice place to be stored. It also came with this little tiny dust bag as well that says Christian Louboutin. And this comes with like extra heel caps. So it comes with these little extra like heel caps, I guess, just in case they come off of the shoe. So that was nice that they included that and they should have for the price, but that's neither here nor there. You get your pack and slip in case you have a, a mini heart attack and wanna take them back. And then you open it up and here are the shoes. You guys have no idea how excited I am. Like literally I have been wanting a pair of these for the longest time and I just really did not want to pull the trigger. I'm like, I just can't spend this much money. Like I can't, but my husband can, so he did. <laughs> and this is how they look. Again, these are the Bianca 120s. I have worn them uh, like one time. I put my foot in them and kind of walked around my room and um, they weren't as uncomfortable as I heard. I've heard that these shoes are extremely uncomfortable. These and the Pigals, Pigali, Pigals I think you call them, those I heard are terribly uncomfortable. These I feel like maybe aren't as uncomfortable because they have the platform. So that's a good thing right there. I also got mine in a size 38, which is a size eight US. I normally wear a seven and a half, but I fluctuate sometimes between a seven and a half and an eight. So my husband got the eight and that was actually the perfect size. It seems to be like it's like more narrow at the top and then I have a little bit of space in the back just a little bit but I feel like if I would have went a half size down like it would have just been too narrow in the toe area and I looked at some reviews and that was kind of 
a common theme was that all of the shoes were very narrow in the toe area so you really had to kind of maybe put some socks in it or walk around in the shoes around your house with some socks and it'll kind of loosen up and help you be able to wear them more comfortably so the heel is actually pretty high which i like but with the platform it doesn't seem that high so platform is about an inch and a half maybe an inch thick so if you put that onto the heel it makes the heel only like this high which is about three inches which isn't really that bad so i think these are going to be really cute these will go with jeans these will go with a skirt a dress whatever i want to wear i feel like these shoes are super versatile and i can honestly put them on with a lot of different things so another con that I've actually heard about these shoes are that the red bottom will actually scrape off like any other shoe. The red bottom will honestly scrape off and it'll just start to look really raggedy at the bottom, which of course the red bottom is the signature. So you don't want to ruin that. So I purchased a few accessories from Amazon in order to preserve the bottom of the shoe. So I got these and these are from the brand Vibram. I'll link them below and these are just actually red bottoms that you're supposed to get a professional to put these on but they will cut and size them to the bottom of your shoe on the ball of the foot portion. They'll cut and size them to the bottom of the shoe and actually adhere them to the shoe so when you're walking you're not actually walking on the red bottom you're walking on the actual little pad here whatever you call it. And then on top of that, it's rubber, so it'll stop you from slipping around if you're at um, an event or a place where the surface, the floor is very slippery. I also purchased these little heart, what are they called? Heartbreakers. They're stylish grips for slippery soled shoes. So these were not necessarily made to preserve the bottoms of the shoes. However, these are very easy to put on and anything you put on the bottom of the shoe, obviously the ground won't touch the shoe, it'll touch whatever you put on there. So these are from the brand 3M and they're self adhesive. So literally you would just put it like on the ball of the foot right here and then the shape of little hearts, but you literally just put it on the ball of the foot and then hopefully your shoe won't get as damaged at the bottom. I really like these better, but I have to get to a professional and I just haven't had time. So in the meantime, I'm going to use these little red hearts. And then along with those, again, I also heard that the Christian Louboutins are extremely uncomfortable. These don't seem as uncomfortable, but just to protect myself, I got some ball of the feet cushions and these are from the brand Healing Rights. I got these off of Amazon as well. And again, they're from the brand Healing Rights and these are just regular, normal ball of the foot cushions that you can put in the shoe and hopefully protect your foot in case you're going to be standing up for an extended amount of time. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is my unboxing of my Bianca's. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. If you're on the verge of purchasing some red bottoms, let me know which ones down below. If you have some red bottoms, especially these, let me know your thoughts on them down below. Are they worth the enormous price tag or are we just crazy? Let me know. So again, that is it. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media platforms, my Instagram, my Snapchat, and also my Facebook fan page. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, again, please subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.